being here. Uh, my name is Corentin, and I'm very happy to, to present you how you can send SMS uh, with uh, Odoo. I just would like to start with two statistics to show you that uh, SMS could be very powerful uh, for commercial purpose. Then the first one, the, the reading rate of an SMS. Commercial SMS is 95%. Then that means that if you send an SMS, 95% of the person will, uh, will read this, uh, this SMS. And then the second uh, statistic, this is the number of users which is interested by receiving SMS. And then the uh, then eighty percent of the people are happy to receive the SMS. Then those two uh, statistics show that uh, SMS could be very powerful, and I will show you how you can send those SMS with Odoo. Then what are we going to see today? First, I will show, I will explain you why you have to send SMS with Odoo. Then the second part, we will see how you can send SMS with Odoo. And then the third part, um, I select five main questions that we received, and then we will uh, check them together. Then why sending SMS with Odoo? There are two different uses. The first one is, of course, the, the commercial offer. Then you can send SMS to uh, announce rebates to your customer, and you can also uh, send SMS to inform uh, your colleagues or partners about uh, something you would like to do. Then I took two examples. The first one, you can send to your customer large rebate of 20% on electric devices this weekend. Or by example, you can send to your colleagues, OXP was amazing, thanks to you, I offer a day off to all of you on Monday. <laughs> Just an example. Good job, Fabian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet, but maybe. Uh, <laughs> then the second use, this is the reminds meetings, then you have the opportunity to send a pop-up on the mobile phone instead of sending an email. By example, one hour before the meeting to be sure that the, the attendees will be uh, uh, ready and then there. Of course, the, the, the remind meetings is linked to your agenda and we will see uh, how does it works. Just an example. Just an example, then you received an email, an SMS with the name of the, rem the, the, name of the, 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 the meetings and then of course the, the date and the hour for this meeting. Let's go to the second part, how sending SMS with Odoo. Then the first thing you have to do is obtain credits. And the second thing you have to do this is, of course, sending the SMS. And you will see how you can, uh, you can create the, the meeting uh, uh, remind and how you can send SMS. Then I will show you in live. The first part, this is how you can obtain, obtain credits. <coughs> what you have to do, there is nothing to install or there is nothing to, uh, to, to configure in advance. You just have to, to uh, try to send an SMS. Then I click on the contact. I click here on the envelope. And then I will try to send the SMS. Of course, I don't have credit, then it won't be possible to send SMS. And then you will receive this pop-up. If you click on buy credit at Odoo, um, then you have a new uh, web page and then you can buy credits. I won't do it here because I already created uh, an account before. And, but then here you, you can buy the, the, the credit with your uh, credit card, of course. And once this is done, we can then send the SMS or the, the, for the calendar or for the commercial use. Let's start with the commercial use. If you would like to send only to one person, you click here on the envelope, and then one of my colleagues will receive an SMS. And then you can send it. Then this is very fast and very easy. But most of the time, you would like to send a bulk SMS. This is, in fact, the topic of this talk. And then what you have to do is first doing the filter, by example, on the customers. You click on it. You have here all then your customer. You can select all of them. And by clicking on action here, you can send SMS to, uh, to a lot of people. This is here all of my colleagues. And then I will say something to them.
Voilà. And then, as you can see, this is really easy to, to send SMS. <laughs> the second use is um, the, the pop-up remind if you have a, a meeting. Then what do you have to do? First, create the meeting. And then if you click on Reminder, you have the opportunity to choose here SMS text message. And then of course this is something you can configure. You can choose one hour, but you can choose also 30 minutes or two hours. So this is something easy to do. And then if you click on here, one hour before the meeting, all the attendees will receive the, an SMS. I won't do it here. If I come back to the presentation, then uh, we see we saw how you can obtain credit, just sending an SMS, and then you will be automatically <coughs> redirected. And then if you would like to send the SMS for the commercial purpose, select the contact and click on the envelope. For meeting purpose, select SMS as reminder. Then as you can see, this is really easy to do. <coughs> then let's go to the third part of this uh, presentation, the main questions. The, of course, the, 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 the most important one, what is the price by SMS? This is between two cents and 13 cents, depending on the destination, because if you send it in Belgium, it will be cheaper than if you send it to uh, another country, of course, and then the number of characters. Second question, how can I see how many credits I still have? If you go into the, the in-app purchase, you can see the credit you, you have to send SMS. Third question, is it only on prepaid or may I have a subscription? This is only on prepaid, but if you put 100 euros of credit, you can send up to 5,000 SMS in once. Then probably that subscription is not uh, uh, needed here. Uh, do I have an historical of all SMS sent? Yes, of course. Uh, if you go into the technical, uh, uh, technical uh, menu, you can see all the message, and then also the, S the, the, the this is not here. Yeah. And then, of course, when you, you send an SMS, you have all the, you, you have it take here. You can see here in the, the chatter what you send to, to the customer. Then this is two way to, to see what you send to, to your contact. And then last question, could we choose the number used to send SMS? And is it possible to answer directly? Unfortunately, this is no. The number is fixed. This is 8810. And then uh, answer, answering is not possible. Thank you. I have two questions now. Probably not the main question, but uh, uh -huh. uh, the first one, uh, how can a customer opt out for the not receiving the, the SMS? And the second question, when you have a for example, a regular uh, recurrent meeting, can you uh, reset the time, let's say that uh, I, I want to perform the, the weekly meeting, or I want to send it uh, one day before at the one of time? Okay. Those two questions are very good. <laughs> 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 then the two questions is, uh, is it possible for the customer to, to have something like stop sending a message or unsubscribe, something like that? No. And then I don't know about uh, uh, <laughs> and about is it legal to send SMS if it's not possible to unsubscribe? Honestly, I don't know. Then I have to uh, to, to uh, sorry, but I have no idea. And then for the second question, uh, is it possible to to have a, a regular uh, 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 answering? Probably yes, but I have to say with my technical colleagues because I never tried to, to do it. Then sorry for my approximate Thank answer. <laughs> Please. Uh, version 12 Enterprise, I mentioned, what you just showed us, or is that available in other versions of the community? Um, then I send this message with version 11 and not version 12. <coughs> but, and then for a community. Yes. yes. <laughs> ah, once again, I have never tried with the community uh, version. Sorry. I guess yes, but I cannot promise you. Please. Is it possible to link it uh, with uh, mailing marketing, mailing list in marketing? What do you mean? Mass mailing. Uh, mass mailing because, uh, for example, for maintenance or for problems, for we we have to, to send uh, to our 
customer, oh, there is a problem. So is it possible to have a pre, uh, prepared mailing list and in case of problem, just check I want to send SMS to this mailing list? Okay. Uh, yes, if you go into the contact, you can then in advance uh, do a filter and then use this filter to send yeah. SMS. But it's not linked with uh, mass mailing module? No, no. Can you create a trigger? Yeah, I, I think it can be because if you, in your contact, you put a category like you show with the customer and he, so you will filter both on your mailing list and on, on the SMS on the same filter. So you, you probably will get the problem. He's asking. Okay, honestly, it seems to be complicated, but if you are confident with it, uh, okay, I would like to say no, but... You show in, the, your, in your presentation the, that you can select all the yes. customer in, the, in your contact Yes, indeed. So, uh, it's exactly the same. You, you can define category like customer or whatever, uh -huh. and use the same filter when you are doing the link, yes, yes, link yes. and yes. when you are doing the SMS, it's or just up to you to... Uh, mm -hmm. I agree. I guess, uh, then yes. Is there any plan to... Yes. Sorry. You no, I was, uh, yeah. Uh, will it come to send instead of for SMS, uh, like uh, WhatsApp or Hangouts or other uh, systems? Uh, for the future, I don't know, but n uh, nowadays this is only uh, for SMS. Please, may I tell you? Ladies first. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, from your example, you selected all of your customers and then you say, okay, I want to send an SMS uh -huh. to all of my yes. uh, customers. Why if some of them do not have a, a mobile phone set? Do you, do you have a, a error message from all of them? Because some are... Missing. Yes, then this is not an error message, but before trying to send it, you will receive the pop-up saying, this contact does not have a, a, a mobile phone. Then you have to uh, un unselect it and send it again. But this pop-up arrives before, then you don't have to, to send it, and then if you receive this message after, this is quite boring because you have to, to recreate the SMS. Wouldn't it be better to just send the message, the ones that have a mobile message, then all of them say, okay, these ones do not have a mobile message, the message was not sent to them? Because otherwise you have to go again, select, and make the filter so that only the ones that do not have a mobile, that do have a mm -hmm. mobile, and Yes and no, because if you have this message after and then you receive maybe uh, 90 errors on, on one on tweet, maybe you don't want to send this SMS only to 10 person, then having this message before seems logical, according to me. You can also uh, use directly the filter and look for uh, only the mobile that are right. set on your button and apply it. We had an issue with that. Let me try that. Is there, any, is there any plan for the future to allow uh, the recipient to respond to make a transaction? Hmm. Honestly, uh, I don't know, but you know this number 8810, I received it also from uh, from Brico and then from, from other retailers, and it seems to be difficult to receive the answer if this number is quite uh, general for, for the companies. Then, uh, until now, I, I did not heard something about uh, the, uh, uh, the opportunity to, to answer. What, what you can do is you, in the text of your SMS put the number if you want to have a uh, so so they can yeah, come back to you. But then you need to have a, a, some file. Temp a template or something. Yeah, and, and, and a real phone number. Uh, no, I mean, they're also for products, so yeah. you'll give you a full, full set of features. Yeah. If you would like to come and work with me, uh, <laughs> 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 I'd be very happy. <laughs> Uh, then uh, all of them can send SMS, and is it possible to, to give some rights? Uh, yes, yes, we can do it. Please. Uh, what if I want to trigger that uh, SMS sending uh, in a specific action when a deal complete to send this SMS with a template to a specific customer of, uh -huh. uh, who follow this? Yes. I'm functional consultant, and this is um, a talk about uh, sending SMS. This question is specific, and then you have to do some, 
some uh, config uh, more than configurations of some customization, then I don't have the answer about this. Uh, I'm sure this is possible. I don't know how to do this. <coughs> okay. Please. Do you get a report of all the messages that have been sent? Yes, you can do it I if you go into the technical parts. In debug mode, technically, you have all the message, and then you can do some, some sort uh, on, on those ones. But there is no report like, you know, for CRM and then for main application with graphics and those kind of things, not in the standard view. But if you go into technical, de uh, debug mode, technical message, you can have uh, all the information linked to the SMS. Well, thank you to all.